Digital Switching System Today we will cover the tropic of distribution frames, many changes occur during the life of a telephone exchange. New customers join and old ones leave. As the number of customers in an exchange increases or if customer move from one exchange area to other exchange area, then NPBXs may increase their number of exchange lines. Growth of traffic may require additional switches in the exchange and more junctions to other exchanges. Great flexibility is therefore required in the trunking of an exchange. This is obtained by inserting distribution frames into the permanent exchange cabling. Distribution frames contain an array of terminal blocks and the terminals are linked in a less permanent fashion by wires called jumpers. The distribution frames in a typical step-by-step -step exchange is shown in figure. The main distribution frame, MDF, is the place where the cables of the customer's distribution network terminate. The arrangement of terminals on the line side of the MDF corresponds to the street cabling and so reflects the geography of the area. The terminals on the exchange side of the MDF are arranged in directory number, DN, order. Thus, the number of a line is changed by moving its jumper. To guard the exchange apparatus against any high voltage surges on the external lines, Protectors and fuses are mounted on the MDF. The MDF also provides a convenient point of access for testing lines. Circuits which are not switched in the exchange are strapped together at the MDF as shown in figure. The intermediate distribution frame, IDF, is used to distribute incoming traffic evenly over the group of first selectors. On the multiple side of the IDF, Lines are arranged in the directory number order. On the local side, the order can be arbitrary to obtain the desired result. The terminals on the local side of the IDF are corresponds to equipment number, N, of the lines and customers UNI selectors are connected to this side. If the exchange is equipped with meters, these are required to be associated with directory numbers. They are therefore cabled to the multiple side of the IDF. Since meter pulses on the P wires arrive at the local side, the IDF provides equipment number to directory number, on DN, translation. Incoming calls for a customer terminate at final selectors on an outlet corresponding to the directory number. The final selectors multiples are therefore connected to the multiple side of the IDF. A modern system provides DN to N translation, in order to enable customers' incoming traffic to be redistributed in addition to their outgoing traffic. Between the ranks of selectors there are trunk distribution frames, TDF. These are used in the telecommunication system to cater growth in traffic. For a digital switching system, digital circuits are terminated on a digital distribution frames. DDF. In a SPC system, N to DN and DN to N translation may be performed by a central processor reading data from an electronic memory. IDF is not used in SPC system. Tomorrow we will discuss the crossbar systems. Thank you for still watching the video. Please draw the block diagram and practice the content of this video lecture. Only then you will be able to understand this subject better.